create the back plate, plate first and its width is 69 by 40 so I'm going to use the front plane extrude rectangle from the corner to a rectangle and width is 69 and height is 40 And again, the hole can be made later, but let's just make it now 16 millimeter diameter and 22 and 16. Thickness will be right here, 10 millimeter. So 10 millimeter is okay. Now let's create this base bracket here. Let's just use the side surface for sketching plane. So I'm going to make an extrude. Let's look at normal to it. So I hit the space bar, and I'll just draw a line starting from here line and a vertical line like that okay and the width sorry the length is 88 okay the length is 88 and the 75 is from the top of this block to the center of the hole so we'll just create dimension from the top to the point of and the 75 okay and we'll just extrude that line and we extrude it the other way and how far do we extrude uh, that's gonna be the diameter of the circle cylinder and that will be 38 so the so this one has to be 38 depth of the uh, extrusion is 38 and its thickness should be 10 I think it's a uh, 20 is the height and 10 is the height of the rib so it's going to be 10 so thickness 10 and uh, this corner is a rounded fillet so that will be five millimeter radius so i can choose auto fillet corners and five millimeters it's always uh, measurement is the smaller uh, radius so small radius five and that will create extrusion and i need to create this cylinder that just fits in here so I'm going to create a let's look at the uh, drawing here we know is 20 by the height of the cylinder and so we have to use this line this plane as your sketching plane so the back of this bracket will be used as a sketching plane for extrusion so I'm going to look at normal to it and I need to draw a circle is right in the middle if you move your cursor in the middle it shows the midpoint and make sure it goes to the and it's fully constrained already without any dimension now we need to extrude it this direction is going to be three millimeters right here three millimeters and the other direction is 25 minus 3, so which is 22. So the second direction will be 22. Okay. And then we'll have a hole through all hole with 16 millimeter diameter. Stutka on here. Make a circle. Move your cursor on the circle and the center point pops up you just snap it to the center 
and the diameter will be 16. And exit from the sketch, and you want to set through all to create this hole. Okay, and then uh, next we'll create this rib. So rib should pass through the center of this hole. So we need a plane that runs in the middle of this hole and maybe parallel to this sideline. So we don't have such plane right now. So front plane is there, right top plane is there, right plane is there. So we have to construct a new reference plane. So go to reference geometry, plane. And here we need to select the center point here. Uh, we don't see this axis, so we have to show it. Go to show height and uh, view temporary axis. That'll show all the axis, so we need to select that axis. So it's coincident with the axis, and we need a second reference. I choose this side surface and make them parallel to that side surface. Okay, and then it's fully constrained, fully de defined plane. Okay, so I'm going to use this plane for making a sketch. Let's look at normal to it. So I'm going to draw the profile of this rib. But let's make this sketch really simple. Um, it's off offset from this line by 10 millimeter. So we'll just use the offset entities and 10 millimeters select that select this line and select that line uh, say okay uh, that's it and but we want that to be that one that end point and that silhouette line look at the cursor change silhouette line has to be coincident. Okay, so that will be the um, rib. Uh, notice that there is a round at the end, but we'll create that later. Just make that simple. And the thickness of the rib will be 10 millimeter. Okay, so I'm going to use go to features, rib, thickness 10 millimeter, both end, both sides and make sure that we flip this direction to the other side so that the material will be filled in the correct direction. So that will finish the rib. Now the other geometries like this round here, that round can be created using simply round feature. So that one is 20 millimeter radius, so you use the uh, fillet. Constant radius, 20. And select that edge. We'll create the geometry. And this side is 31, 31 millimeter round. So you do the fillet again, 31. This edge to create it. So let's hide that plane and also hide the axis. Isometric view that is the final part. 